See the crew? Hmm? Now if, you, if this wasn't radio, you would be able to see my now goldfish face. Anyway, yeah. But to me is the deal, but to me is the deal, but to me is the deal, money now, money now. The amazing Kalki Hamari Sathe Vijay Nashapar. It is so nice to have a fine actor walk into my studio today. How are you doing, Kalki? I'm good. How are you? It's been a while, huh? It's been a while. Hamne <laughs> is show ke liye baat nahi ki hai. It's been a while. Uh, this is a retro Bollywood station called Radio Nasha. Uh, and the first question I'll ask you is obviously, ek aisi film ka naam batao jo dekhkar bade hue aur kaha ki mujhe filmo mein aana hai. Piyasa, Gurudat, because us टाइम पे मैं हिंदी सीख रही थी और तो ज्यादा पुराने हिंदी फिल्म्स देख रही थी और वाओ और इसके गाने नो दे स्टिल नथिंग नथिंग मैचेस दिस एब्सोल्युटली और वेरी डिप्रेसिंग फिल्म दो लेट मी ऐड टू दैट नहीं आई डिसएग्री द एंड इज वेरी होपफुल इट्स होपफुल इट्स होपफुल दे रन अवे टुगेदर इट्स वेरी होपफुल एब्सोल्युटली and Absolutely. yes it's sad in the middle it's uh, but the songs my god and at the same time jaane ro kaise log pe jin ke pyar ko pyar mila oh my god what a start to the interview you come to me with a film today jiska naam hai goldfish and i must say nice colors yes <laughs> main to ekdam goldfish jaise dikh rahi hu hmm If you, if this wasn't radio, you would be able to see my Now goldfish face. Now they can see face. everything because we're on oh, because Instagram. Because radio and like is uh, YouTube and all of it. Yeah, video kill the radio stars. <laughs> Try. <laughs> <laughs> I still here. Still here. Yeah. Uh, film dekhi hai maine, and today is the day of the release. Uh, so let me ask you first. Does it still give you nerves on the day of the Actually, release? Actually, today release nahi hai. Mm-hmm. First of September release mm-hmm. hai, but today mm-hmm. hamara bada screening hai, mm-hmm. jahan bhot sare celebrities aa rahe hain mm-hmm. Juhu PVR mein. So of course, I'm nervous, hoon, but bhot excited hoon, because four years se koi release nahi hua mm-hmm. mere. Uh, so I'm excited hoon. Okay, so we'll come to that in a bit because even though it might not be a theatrical release that has happened in the last four years for you, uh, we've had a good amount of kalki in the last couple of days, and we will talk about that. लेकिन उससे पहले Goldfish. Uh, I love the film. I watched it. Pushan is known to me because हम एक ही college में गए थे, and he was my senior. उस दौर में अभी भी वो इतना intellectual था क्या? Oh my God! बाप रे! और उसका British accent, उसका Cambridge accent, वहाँ से कहाँ से मिला पहले? ये Xavier's की देन होती है. People come to Xavier's just get this accent <laughs> it's true it's true but i remember even in college he was somebody who had this vision you know mm. and even i think with a film like this this is a second film but it's a very sensitive portrayal of one of the most under discussed relationships but sabke sath hai yaar a mother daughter relationship mm. kya ye wajah thi is film ko ha kehne ki aapke liye one of the reasons for sure uh, because बहुत पावरफुल रिलेशनशिप है फर्स्टली वेद इज मदर डॉटर और सन एंड फादर यू आर इधर अ चाइल्ड और अ पेरेंट और बोस एंड इट इज सो रेलिवेंट टू एवरीबडी एनी अक्रॉस कल्चर सेकेंडली पुशन की मैं भी एक थोड़ी सी फैन हूँ उसका पहली फिल्म थ्रेश होल की सो आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क विद हिम एंड थर्डली लाइक बहुत कम रोल्स है मेरे लिए ना जो अप्रोप्रिएट है विद माय लुक्स एंड दिस इज अ ब्रिटिश यू नो हाफ ब्रिटिश हाफ इंडियन गर्ल हु डिनाइज हर इंडियननेस कम्प्लीटली वांट्स टू बी ब्रिटिश कॉल्स हर सेल्फ एना फील्स इंस्टेड ऑफ अनामिका तो शी एंड देन थ्रू द जर्नी उसकी मम्मी के साथ शी इज फोर्स टू कम टू टर्म्स विद हर इंडियननेस एंड दैट्स अ रियली नाइस जर्नी I loved it. I saw your post today that you put up for Dipti ji, mm-hmm. and let me tell you, it's such a privilege to be an actor around her. Yeah. You know, हम तो सिर्फ fans हैं, हम सिर्फ बातें करते हैं उनसे. लेकिन as an actor, uh, also to see two wonderful talents, you know, share a space. Uh, are people gracious when they're older, and are they kinder when they're older and they're legends? अ क्या experience रहा है तुम्हारे साथ working with people who've been around for a little longer than you are? She's very gracious. She's, you know, she's funny because. Uh, she doesn't like rehearsals and Pushan ji to from theater background loves re- rehearsals so Deepthi ji and Pushan were like this because mm-hmm. she's like I don't like rehearsing and when we rehearsed she was like muttering the words did it a little very s- gently gracefully mm-hmm. floating across the the room you know I'll mm-hmm. sit here I'll stand here I'll break this here and I'll walk out mm-hmm. I was like oh I said kareegi and then 
the camera would roll and you would suddenly transform this lady transformed into like a fierce you know crazy beautiful complex woman mm -hmm. and i was like oh okay nice. and nice. you as a co-actor can only react because okay. you don't know what she's going to do next bahut unpredictable hai and that's a beautiful quality to have yeah and it's a pleasure right because when you're working on scenes with people jim ne kaha tha ek interview mein recently that it's always great to have actors who come prepared Hmm. you know kyunki jab wo ek prep lekar aate hain and hmm. the two of you have worked together quite a bit uh, i think that that's what you seek right ki aap bhi apna prep karke aaye main bhi apna prep karke aati hu aur fir dono jab ek saath aaye to there'll be some magic does it happen often ha uh, no <laughs> <laughs> nahi real talk yeah yeah, yeah. no it doesn't happen often most yeah. people are, have no idea what they're going to do and most people are also uh, we can't prep because so many times the script isn't ready and we're changing lines on the day of the shoot mm -hmm. So mm. that frustration is always there for me. Mm, of course. But with this film as I said the relationship between mother daughter I felt that there were so many points where I was you know rating very hard because you know as I said this relationship exists with everybody. Mm. If you're a daughter you know most times of course if you're privileged you have a mother you can fight with. Uh, so <laughs> so what where did you draw from? You know it was a, a strange time for me because I was being a mother to Safo and was my first film after becoming a mother and i was breastfeeding her i was very close to her i was and that love you feel for your baby is so strong and then i think about the relationship with my mother and how much we fought when i was a teenager and i was like how did it go from this intense love to i hate you mom yeah. you know yeah. will safo one day turn around and say i hate you mom yeah. maybe So it was overwhelming it made me respect my own mother so much but at the same time made me feel like oh my god i have to live for myself because at the end of the day like your daughter or your kid is going to see who you are and yeah. copy that yeah, they're not going to do what you tell them to do they're going to do what you do yourself mm -hmm. so if you're going to be independent she's going to see and be independent so yeah it was a learning curve so you're saying that motherhood has made you better As definitely definitely it's made me more in touch with my priorities with what i really want out of life um because you know motherhood is a leveler man it strips you of everything else it doesn't matter what all you've achieved you're back to just those first 6 months just no sleep diapers breastfeeding like you just don't know where anything is what you're doing in life it's just giving and then and then and then and then it starts transforming they start giving back and you're like oh my god this love you know it's beautiful and yeah it makes you feel uh like you can just be better i don't know how to like you, you just feel like there's more there's more in life there's just more amazing we've never spoken about you know your personal relationship with your mother but did you draw anything from that hell yeah when my mom saw this film she said oh it's a documentary on our lives <laughs> There were some exact arguments. जब मैंने स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ी मैंने बोला ए पुशन ये तो हैव यू बिन लिसनिंग टू माई मॉम्स कॉन्वर्सेशन वर्ड बिकॉज दिस इज क्रेजी दिस इज सम ऑफ द सेम लाइन आई यूज इन आर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स एंड यू नो यू रिप्लेस द गोल्ड फिश विद स्क्रल एंड इट्स द सेम आर्ग्यूमेंट Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It gave me goosebumps. It, that's why when I was watching the film, I was so moved because I said, "I'm dealing with the same." You know, my mom's just—I mean, for some reason, I feel that we don't give our mothers the age of age. You know, mm. like if someone asks me, well, "How old is your mom?" I have no idea mm. because to me, she'll always be thirty. I am now forty, but she'll always be thirty. Yeah. Now she's somewhere in the sixties, but I just don't know that age. The simple reason being that. I am not acknowledging the fact that every year is a year that's adding to her life as well. There are things that she's unable to do, and now at some point she's also a child. Uh, the uh -huh. point, the point when you know our mothers become our daughters or our parents become our children. Uh, it's a hard time to navigate that. Do you think? It is. It is a hard time, and I think all of us at this age, reaching forty. Uh, have to in some way face it right yes. because this is the age where we will probably be taking care of our parents or you know if we are in touch with them and we are uh, involved with them then we're going to start thinking about those provisions yes um it's a big question 
and it's the dilemma of the film actually and you know in a culture like India it's very different from a culture like Britain where the film is set where it's very normal to just put your parents into a home yes. you know and it's very practical and you got to get on with your life and that's it but in India it's all it's really about taking care of the family in an extended family environment or you know you take care of your parents because yes. also we don't have the provisions in the same way that maybe they have already yes. in the west so yeah it's the dilemma of anamika's character let's also talk about dementia which is of course the driving force of this narrative uh dementia mein kya hota hai kal ki thoda sa explore kiya hai kya samajh aaya hai kisko ho sakta hai uh it can happen to anyone mm -hmm. it's sometimes hereditary mm -hmm. uh and it's happening more and more it's going to be a big disease of the future or i'm sure ye phones and all this like chit bit yes. kind of concentration span tiktoks yeah. and all it's going to make it worse for us um i argya larry jo film ki writer hai aur deepthi ma'am dono ke uh, parents they had both a parent that had dementia and they saw it up close mm -hmm. so they gave me a lot of stories and anecdotes from which to draw from, draw from. Yeah. you know yeah. for example i don't know if deepthi ji shared with you this story but um about her mother used to drink very sweet chai yeah. and ek bar chai khatam ho gaya and then her mother would be like i want my chai and she said ma you can't have more chai you've already had and there's too much sugar you can't have more mm -hmm. chai she used to get very frazzled and angry i want my chai i haven't had my chai you know so she started leaving the cups empty without clearing them away mm -hmm. so when her mama said you know i need my chai she would be like but mummy abhi to chai piye aapne she said ha theek hai nahi chahiye you know oof, oof. so, so you have to really gently like play with it and not you know contradict and and find a way to to deal with because the person is only in the present absolutely they do not know you know in a weird way you said that and it could be a gift like here we are looking at people on instagram saying be in the present ha ha and then you're like you know what many you were actually, actually just in the present yeah many a, a tiktok dekhi mm -hmm. uh, a father who has dementia and the son is taking the video mm -hmm. and the father is looking very confused oh why is it better better hai so far and he's like mai kaun hu where am i who am i you are this person no 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 you are sitting here and your this is your house and he's like oh okay this is my house okay that okay good good and and who are you i'm your son oh good because i had such a i had a, such a strong connection between us i'm so relieved you're my son and they laughed you know and i was like yeah. you know you can also take it lightly you don't it's all, not always a tragedy like you you you're present for this moment you're here and we make the most of that yeah that's a great way to look at it and hopefully but kindness because i think that what tends to happen to us in situations mm. that are greater than us or out, out of our control is hamari kindness window ke bahar chali jati hai kal ki hum gusse ho jate hain hame aur hum right bhi uh, we want to prove ourselves right na yeah. Yeah. मैं yeah. सही बोल रही हूँ बट mm. छोड़ दो सही या न, न, और गलत इट डजेंट मैटर वट मैटर्स इज कि हम यू नो हम केयर कर सकते हैं हम फॉर गिव कर सकते हैं इट्स ओके ठीक है you know i spoke to dipti ji about this and it's so strange because you're the only other actor i can actually ask this to maine unse kaha ki aapne hamesha alternative ko champion kiya hai you know whether it was her chashme badur way back then in the 80s yeah. she was always you know championing the alternative and i feel that even you have always done that you know even being part of a film like this भले ही चार साल पहले चार साल पहले भी कल की उतनी ही बड़ी स्टार थी <laughs> आ, लेकिन ये एक, एक फिल्म है जो जरूरी है ओके ये फिल्म आनी बाहर है क्यों इतना जरूरी है तुम्हारे लिए कल की फॉर बीइंग दैट चैंपियन ऑफ द अल्टरनेटिव मुझे बताओ आई वांट टू आस्क यू दिस फॉर मेनी इयर्स मतलब जरूरी पता नहीं बट हाँ कुछ कुछ मेरे पेट के अंदर कुछ होना चाहिए ना Hmm. वो एक्साइटमेंट जो है वो क्यूरियोसिटी अगर वो नहीं है तो इट्स डिफिकल्ट आई थिंक टू डू दिस जॉब बिकॉज एनी वे टेक सो मच टोल हम नाइट शूट्स करते हैं हम 15 आवर्स के लिए शूट करते हैं वे अवे फ्रॉम आर फैमिलीज इट्स नॉट एन ईजी जॉब सो वाई वी डूइंग इट इट्स टू फील दैट मैजिक राइट दैट मोमेंट ऑफ ओ माई गॉड आई डोंट नो वट्स कैपन नेक्स्ट एंड एंड यू नो 
also just to empathize with someone that might be very different from you when your character is very different from you how do you empathize with them how do you understand someone who's you know completely from a different background i i find that really exciting and yeah fulfilling but you could have done that in the mainstream you know with, with i didn't have that choice i didn't have that choice mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. i had very few mainstream offers still have very few i do them with joy and and i do some selectively but uh, you know I, this is this is who I am and what I've been also offered. It's lovely because only someone who has already been through that journey of being somewhat being perceived as an other looks at others with compassion. <laughs> Do, does that ring a bell? Yeah, ye, ye bolna because I'm being my own shrink here. Na? You're, you're <laughs> I'm like, you know, shayad ki ki thori si different thi, to wo I think when we are a little we get a perspective. Milta hai. You know? Haan, to, it's like like in the film, uh, you know, they're in England, so, you know, the perspective on India is different and you start to, you become the other and then you realize, oh, okay, there's parts of me that, you know, are this and parts of me that are that and we're all, we all have duality in us and yes. that's only, the perspective only comes when you're a bit distanced from yourself and your familiarities. Correct. Okay. I remember speaking to you when Devdi was coming out. Mm. Oh my God! Like mm. that's been a while. Uh -huh. yeah, that's been a while. Yeah. Um, and here Pandra, we are today. Pandra saal hai kya? Pandra saal ho gaya wow. Devdi ko. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Kitne young the hum? Kitne young the? Kitne fresh the? Uh -huh. You know. And also there was a great time. Uh, that was mm. a great time. There were some crazy movies being made, mm. and we were fortunate to either talk about them or be in them. <laughs> so it was it was a movement at that point. And here we are. You know, 15 years later. Do you think that 15 years later, people are looking at the same view as they are different or they are different or they are different because I am a senior. How has this journey today, in 2023, when you look back, what has changed for you? Are you changing anything? I don't know. What is changing? Of course, I have become calmer. Oh, personally. Personally. Oh, you are saying, how do people look at me? Yes, it is changing that now, लोग माल, लोगों को मालूम है कि मैं यहाँ पैदा हुई हूँ कि मैं साउथ इंडिया में पैदा हुई हूँ दे हैव सम बैकग्राउंड ऑन मी सो देर नो नीड टू कॉन्स्टेंटली बी एक्सप्लेनिंग माई बैकग्राउंड इन फिल्म लेकिन Uh, there's an ease, you know, when it comes to figuring out what can we do with Kalki? Like, how do you solve a problem like Maria? <laughs> there's an ease. I mean, you know, there's a, it's a waiting game for me because of the way I look. I won't get every role that comes um, around because I've, I can't. Yes. Uh, physically speaking, I'm, I'm Caucasian. So that will come in the way of playing mm. certain roles. Um, so it means a lot of patience. It means waiting. It means doing other things. And I do a lot of other things, you know, whether it's podcast or theater or uh, writing the book, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I do other things because I need to keep cre creating. Being creative. Yeah. Really? But, um, but the waiting game is long. That would be the downside of it. But the, the upside is no one else can do the roles I can do. <laughs> I mean, I can't not talk to you about playing, you know, your recent role in Made in Heaven Part 2. I mean, let me congratulate you. Thank part you. two was so rich. Part two was so much more than part one. Uh, for me personally, I just thought that you guys really went at it. You were just like, tell the problem, let's talk about it. It was almost heavy for itself, but it was fantastic. I think, uh, do you want to tell my audience uh, how the love has been for that season for you? Yeah, it's been good. It's been, uh, it, you know, it was a rough season to shoot because it happened over the two lockdowns. Yes. So literally we took like two years and I would do like one day of shoot mm -hmm. and then four months later I'd do like another day of shoot. You know, so it was really disjointed mm -hmm. but um, it took a long time. But yeah, I think I had a, a great time working on the season. I always have a great time shooting with Jim. I, you know, we have a nice banter between us. And uh, this season had a new director, Neeraj, and I've always wanted to work with him. So that was also great. 
what was incredible was that you know you took the character and even though she's completely wrong in so many ways <laughs> you made us feel for her this season i mean mm. i actually am rooting for her now i want the baby how <laughs> <laughs> yes. does one do that with the character that's not completely straight up <sighs> how does uh, empathy mm. you know everybody's got a story everybody's got a reason for why they they are the way they are and it doesn't justify it mm -hmm. but it definitely makes you understand it um and feza is extremely anxious extremely nervous a nervous wreck but she's always been heart on sleeve for me from day one when i first read the first season she's always been heart on sleeve she roots for love whether that's in her work whether it's in the people she falls in love with or you know now with the baby you know mm -hmm. she's she wants this baby so i think that's what um uh, is her saving grace in a way and her dramatic motor i think like in every she has scene. also she's grown some balls in this season no yeah. like she's like not accepting everything and she's questioning yeah. things and yeah. uh, well, well we'll see and we'll she's see. at some level i think uh, motherhood makes you you know braver yeah because you you have you get into this biological defense mode where you're like a tiger i'll do anything to protect my child yeah Yeah. yeah yeah my mother used to be famously called puli pal kala huh. what does it mean puli pal kala you know kala? puli is a tiger uh -huh. and pal is milk so ah. they would say that if you want someone to go and take the milk away from you know a tiger mm. you so know, then, then send it's... kala which i think is and i always look at her like that puli pal kala but it's amazing how your film keeps you know pushing me back to explore this relationship and i think that's what all films should do right mm. or any piece of art should do mm. talk to my audience mujhe batao inhe bataiye ki is film को क्यों आकर देखनी चाहिए बिकॉज ये एक ऐसी फिल्म है जो बड़ी आसानी से आकर जली जा सकती है बट वी हैव टू डू दिस वी हैव टू मेक देम कम टू द थिएटर एंड वॉच इट क्या होगा ये पिच क्या कहोगे वेल फर्स्टली फर्स्ट ऑफ सितंबर रिलीज हो रही है और उसी वीक में जाना पड़ेगा नहीं तो फिल्म डिसअपियर करेगा um, और क्या है ना कि we've been starved of films we've been starved of especially content driven films in theaters wo kafi nahi dekhte hain i think aur big screen mein dekhna ek alag maza hai aur aur ye honestly sab relate kar sakte hain humne ye film busan mein dikhaya jahan pe kisi ko english nahi maloom hai hindi nahi maloom hai hum korean subtitles ke sath dekha aur fir bhi log aaye और हमारे ट्रांसलेटर को बोला क्योंकि सीधा नहीं बात कर सकते mm -hmm. कि मैं अप, अपनी मम्मी को फोन किया ये फिल्म के बाद सो इट्स दैट काइंड ऑफ फिल्म इट रियली पुल्स एट द हार्ट स्ट्रिंग्स एंड यूनिवर्सल कॉन्सेप्ट है जो एवरीवन कैन रिलेट टू आई थिंक एब्सोल्युटली सो प्लीज डू वॉच गोल्डफिश इन थिएटर्स ऑन द 1st ऑफ सितंबर before you go this is something fun that we want to do with you we want to also celebrate 15 years of kalki in the movies mm -hmm. so i'm just going to quickly run through your filmography and you're going to tell us the one I hate this type of stuff. Yeah, I know. Which is makes why I'm so gonna... nervous. No, no. Specifics. I'm bad with specifics. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to tell me the one memory that pops up. Oh, are you ready, Kalki? Mm, Walk tell down me. memory lane. Mm. Devdi. Kya yaad aata hai? Uh, <laughs> Devdi. <laughs> uh, Anurag Kashyap falling in love. How beautiful. Zindagi na milegi dobara. Um. putting a pencil in my mouth and getting those that lines right that was vikas kumar was my teacher and i was really getting that pronunciation correct fantastic ye jawani hai diwani guys ah manali all of us together road tripping um bantering pranks lot of pranks between me and ranveer kapoor started having wars prank wars you know who could out prank the other oh wow <laughs> ek thi time ek the dian oh my goodness the song that vishal bhardwaj directed oh my god that was beautiful that was one of my favorite things about that film yeah. by the way mari diary sorry ha huh? gully boy gully boy um love that haircut just such a sexy haircut absolutely absolutely i my haircut <laughs> <laughs> yeah <not Ranbir. laughs> just in case you thought i was not talking Ranbir's. about ranveer yeah. ranveer um uh, margarita with a straw um malni chib who is now a lifetime friend uh, you know she the film is inspired by her life and yes sacred games sacred games when are you making season 3 i want some work <laughs> fantastic made in heaven 
Faiza, when is Faiza going to get the hotel bill of Adil and Tara's little excur excursion? <laughs> oh my God, that's going to be something. Ouch. A, a goldfish. Um, first of September. Look at me. I am a goldfish. Your favorite song for, of yourself from the movies? Of my own yes. songs from the movies. Oh gosh. Oh. I don't know. I mean, the one that I can still like dance drunk to is But the me's a do, but the me's a do, but the me's a do, manina, manina. Okay, we're going to do something really fun. This film may tum hai a British accent, hmm. you know, dalna pada. So you're going to tell me how I can do but the me's with a British accent. I'll be ready. Oh, how you. fun is that? Oh my God, yes. All right. I'll be ready. Okay. Well, first of all, you've got to stand up. You've got to be a bit straight, okay. right? Okay. Put your fingers out okay. like that. Mm -hmm. And your titties, mm -hmm. right? And we go. But to me is a deal, but to me is a deal, but to me is a deal, money now, money now. Okay, but to me is a deal, but to me is a deal, but to me is a deal, money now, money now. Right, that was wonderful. That was okay. Yeah, should we have a cup of tea now? I was just going so to some cucumber sandwiches, <laughs> my darling. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, that was Kalki, this is not the BBC. <laughs> Radio Nasha!